Jason Blue Jays Kennels and Blue Hawk Energy. Uh, we just got the direct Windy Nation PMA up with the 8.4 foot blades of my choosing. It does have the Windy Nation furling tail, so we're going to test this out and uh, make sure it kicks out of the wind in the higher winds. We've got guide wires that are concreted right down into the base, nice and long with big washers on the bottom. I think I'm going to do L brackets next time, face them in so I got a hold of more concrete too. We've got probably right around 10 mile an hour winds, but it's nothing constant. The biggest difference I've noticed from this and the geared units that I built that didn't have furling tails and were destroyed ultimately is there's not as much mass. Now these hubs for these blades from somewhere else other than Windy Nation, the hubs are pretty heavy. They're uh, probably a good 20 pounds, 15, 20 pounds. Um, they're solid and that gives you a little bit of mass to, to keep it spinning when the, the gusts die. But um, not as much as like the geared units, the, the sprocket and everything and the solid steel pipe that was threaded. Uh, there was probably a good 50 pounds so it had a lot of that uh, momentum to get it through the gusts. It's starting to spin. I have no idea on output. I'm not going to have for a few days. The batteries were drained quite a bit. It's been quite a while since I had anything on them. So I'll have no real idea of until they are totally full and everything it makes spills into the grid ties. We'll check it out. It's been a real long day with a lot of climbing and a lot of being up in the wind. So I'm going to call it a day. Thanks.